In a significant move amidst the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, the US M1A1 Abrams tanks that were delivered to Ukraine to boost Ukraine's armored capabilities. This decision has been met with both anticipation and analysis regarding the tank's potential impact on the Ukrainian battlefield. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has confirmed the arrival of the Abrams tanks and mentioned their role in reinforcing Ukrainian army brigades. The U.S. has delivered two platoons worth of these tanks, with the remainder of the promised 31 tanks to be sent later. Interestingly, to expedite the delivery, the U.S. chose to send the older Abrams M1A1 versions instead of the newer M1A2 models. The M1A1 Abrams, a product of American engineering, was primarily designed to counter Soviet-built armor. Historically, it has showcased its prowess in the Gulf War, where it devastated Iraq's Soviet-built T-72s without suffering losses. The tank's armor was so robust that enemy fire reportedly bounced off it. The Abrams is equipped with a powerful 120mm main gun, a sophisticated fire control system, and the ability to target adversaries from greater distances than some Soviet tanks. While the M1A1 Abrams is renowned for its combat-proven ability to defeat Soviet-built armor, the current conflict in Ukraine presents a different scenario. Ukrainian officials have noted that fewer than 5% of tanks destroyed since Russia's full-scale invasion have been taken out by other tanks. The majority have been wrecked by land mines, drones, anti-tank missiles, and artillery. This suggests that while the Abrams is built for tank-on-tank -tank combat, it might face challenges from other types of warfare prevalent in the region. Furthermore, two former U.S. Army officers have emphasized that the M1A1 is superior to Russian tanks. It can protect its crew from heavy fire while inflicting substantial damage. However, its effectiveness in the Ukrainian context, where drones and anti-tank missiles are more prevalent, remains to be seen. Despite its advanced capabilities, the Abrams might need to adapt to the current threats on the Ukrainian battlefield. The tank's primary strength lies in its ability to engage in direct combat with enemy armor. However, the prevalence of drones, anti-tank missiles, and land mines in the conflict zone might require strategic adjustments. The M1A1 Abrams stands as one of the premier main battle tanks globally, renowned for its advanced features and formidable combat capabilities. At its core, the tank boasts Chabam armor, a specialized composite armor known for its unparalleled protection against a range of anti-tank weapons. This ensures that the M1A1 can withstand direct hits from most battlefield threats, giving it a distinct edge in frontline engagements. In addition to its robust armor, the M1A1 is equipped with a powerful 120mm smoothbore main gun, capable of firing a variety of ammunition types with high accuracy. This, combined with its advanced fire control system, allows the Abrams to engage and neutralize enemy targets at extended ranges, even while on the move. The tank's mobility is further enhanced by its gas turbine engine, which provides a top speed of around 67 km per hour, 42 miles per hour, and rapid acceleration. Beyond its offensive capabilities, the M1A1 prioritizes crew safety with features designed to protect against chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear CBRN, threats. Its design also incorporates blowout panels to protect the crew in the event of an ammunition cook-off. All these features, combined with its proven combat record, make the M1A1 Abrams a formidable asset on any battlefield. The delivery of the M1A1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine underscores the U.S.'s commitment to supporting Ukraine during these challenging times. While the Abrams brings formidable capabilities to the table, its effectiveness will largely depend on how it's deployed and adapted to the unique challenges of the Ukrainian battlefield.